Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Persona 4 Golden. So, we have saved Marie. At least I think so. And I'm sure the game is not over, though. So, let's go to bed. I don't want to spend time with Marie. Yo! What? What's a what? What's he complaining about? Oh, Valentine's Day. Ah. No, I didn't, I didn't get, I got one wrong. Oh no. Damn it. I got one wrong, it was that stupid eggplant turnip. Well, what should I do now? I'm gonna hang out here for a bit longer, but I don't know what to do. I feel like there's anything for me to do at home anyway. Oh, I got it! I'll go up to the roof or something. I'm, I'm gonna be behind the school building. You know, just because. Most of the girls are already gone. Hey, man, all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. If they want candy so much, why don't they just buy some themselves? Are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah? Man, you're clueless. Whatever. I know I'm getting some for sure today. Sure you are. Sure. <laughs> I'm not lying. I can get quite a lot. From part-time workers at Juness. The important thing is that I have any at all. Right, Chie-san? Yukiko-san? I see you've got some big bags with you today. Wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. Yeah, I do have some. Right, Yukiko? Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. I like candy. What makes you think it's going to you? It might be for me. Don't be so desperate. And I brought some too. Oh, are you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing. Here you go, Chia-senpai, for always being so hardworking. Why me? Because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life, not just your romantic partner. Wow, putting a new spin on things. She's so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. Hey, what about him? I'll give him his chocolate later. I've got some stuff to take care of right now, but I'll call you soon. Does that mean... I feel like everyone's super curious about who I'm going to hand my special chocolate to. If I do it now, it'll be embarrassing. So, see you later. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye! Wow, her ability to avoid personal drama is impressive. Oh, Natokun! What are you all doing together? What's that supposed to mean? Today's a huge deal. Ah, uh, I see. Well, if you'll excuse me. She never breaks a sweat. Oh well, Kanji. 
Guess we're spending time with each other today. Sure, why not? I totally feel like we missed the train here. Attention, everyone! I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. Well, I I've got to go back to the inn and help out. Good luck, Chie. Yukiko? Man, Yukiko's being even bossier than normal. I'm gonna go make sure she's okay. Oh, this is chocolate for everyone in it. Take yours and go home. What the fuck? What the hell? Talk about being brushed off. What, you don't want yours? I'll take it. God, you moron, of course I want it. No one can bother us here. I've got you all to myself. <laughs> Just kidding. Here, this is for you. Sorry to keep you waiting. An odor? Wait, what? Oh, no, no. I knew you'd notice how special it is. I added durian and habanero to it. Wait one second, I need to close this door. Alrighty. Anyone can just melt some chocolate and pour it into a mold. Where's the love in that? So I added a bit of originality. I'm certain you'll like it. What's the matter? Oh, eat it now. I worked so hard on it. I want to see your happy face. Okay. <laughs> Aren't you glad, Senpai? Fine then. I forgive you. But you'll have to tell me what you think later. Durian? The only thing I can hear is the sound of the waves. It's like we're all alone in the world. I'm going to tell you my dreams. I haven't told anyone else. I want to work and go to college. I think I could study lots of things. And during all that... I want to have a serious relationship with a man I love and get married on a tropical island. And live in a house with a big yard and get a big dog. I'll cook and live happily with my husband. Um, is it 1950? And then when we're old, we're going to drink tea every day by the garden. Together. Just kidding. I'm such a weirdo. Hey, don't jump to any conclusions. I didn't even say who I was talking about. Senpai, by a man I love, I meant you. Right now it's just a dream, but it's important to me. So I want to make all my dreams come true one by one, with you at my side. Well, you can't take that back. Did you know, Senpai? People were born from the sea. I feel like we're Adam and Eve right now, just the two of us here. Eve was Adam's wife, so... That means Adam gets to have Eve all to himself. Come on. Why are you doing this? You're late. I don't get it. What, do you know why I'm here? 
You really are an oddball. I have chocolate. You can have it. That room doesn't have any eclectic Lautwitz. I did the best I could, but I don't know if it turned out any good. Sorry. Huh? It's okay? It's fine? Huh. What do you mean, incredible? You can eat it. If you don't hurry, it'll melt. If it melts, it'll run away. When you eat it, um, I want you to tell me whether it was good or not. Now. You ate it all? That's incredible. Are you stupid? Well, it, it makes my work worth it. Valentine's Day isn't an actual ritual, huh? I looked it up. I thought it was some big event, you know, a turning point of your life. Ugh, I'm so lame. I was fooled. I feel stupid. Ugh. But it's not like that. I, I didn't make that chocolate just because I thought it was something I was supposed to. No, that, that makes it sound like I'm serious. Uh, well, I am serious, but... And, and... And you can just shut your stupid jerk face! I'm telling the truth! Look, just... Close your eyes. Shut up and close them! Thank you. Well... I don't really get it, but... I won't forget about you. Ever. Aww, isn't that sweet? Big bro, do you know what day it is today? Yeah. <laughs> How did you know? I bought it in secret. This is my favorite chocolate. It's sweet and yummy. Today, my teacher said, Valentine's Day isn't just a day to give out chocolate. It's a day to say thank you to the people you care about. Teacher gave us all chocolate, everybody, even me. And when she gave it to me, she said, it's been tough for you, but you've done very well. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. That's why I said thank you back. And I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me. And that's why I can be happy again. <laughs> really? And then my teacher was so happy. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? Me too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. I had one more chocolate. I made it myself. Huh? Wait, what is this? Nanako? The big girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. That's why I made one for you. Chie said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. Oh, and bacon, since everyone likes bacon. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. 
Oh. Risei Chan said that the chocolate should assert itself. So it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. You're a grown up, big bro. So I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste. So I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive. So I added vinegar and ponzu sauce too. Oh, uh, lovely. Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. So I added some fish sausage and some of dad's fermented squid. Oh yeah. And Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. And when I told her I was already done, she told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for you. Um, big bro, thank you. I love you. Eat it. Mmm. Big bro? What's wrong, big bro? What a delicious meal. Morning. Good morning. Mm. Mm. What's up? Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, let's go. No, 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 no. No, no, please. Uh, what? It's done already? All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Can I go answer the door? Oh, yeah. That's right. Sure. Go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. Are you 
you going out? Be careful. Oh my god, do you ever get that nauseous feeling in your stomach? Yeah, uh, that's how I feel right now. Oh no, no, no. Come on, man. Come on. I, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, Senpai. I don't feel good. Um, I actually feel sick to my stomach right now. I don't feel good. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god.
Maybe I'll be crying, huh? Ever thought about that? Huh? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't care, it's a video game. It's not real. Yes, yes, I know. I'm very happy. Thank you. I'll see you later. <laughs> uh, where are you, doofuses?
No, it's not. It's very appropriate. I apologize. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm just taking it all in. Who didn't I see? I saw Chie, Yukiko, Rize, Naoto, Kanji. Who didn't I see? Um, Igor doesn't count, does he? I don't think so. Marie, saw Marie. Who did I not see? Um, what? Wait, let me check my 
Persona's status. Or my S-Links. Okay, I've seen you. You. Not you. 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 You, you, you. Not you. Okay, I've seen everybody I care about. <laughs> I know that sounds rude. Sorry, Adachi. I couldn't get you up to level 6. How was I supposed to know he was the killer? Whatever. Hey! <laughs> that was funny. It's uh this shit is emotional. <laughs> um one sec. I'm not even gonna act smart about this. My friend told me there's a secret dungeon or something, and I'm not leaving something like that unturned. So I'm going to definitely not follow the steps to do this. It must be destiny! Oh, so you guys came here too! It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow, but I was feeling too restless. So I decided to come here. Well... Since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! Will you shut up about your steaks? I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well... What we've gone through wasn't all fun and games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, 
For me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh. I wonder how it started then. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Didn't that Amino something monster say it granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability, so that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? Then there must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. Huh? This is from jail? It's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town, before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. Hmm, it's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like, I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see, that world. The Midnight Channel, the ability to enter TVs, they all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Uh... Did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head! Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme, could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us, the culprits, and maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning, so everything would come together perfectly? 
Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Hmm. I don't think it was either of these. Yeah. 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 Listen. I'm not that smart a guy. I'm obviously not gonna notice something like this without... You know... Aid. <laughs> What are you doing here? Hmm? Hmm? The day you first came to town? Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day... Those strange murders started. Sheesh. A lot's happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, big bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? The gas station. I used the bathroom there. I just want to say for the record, I always said that gas station guy was sketchy. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. Yeah, when I first met you, I remember the gas attendant because he was weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before we went home, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah. Come to think of it, I, I never saw that guy again. I have. The attendant looked weird, but after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. Um, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. Are you carsick? You said you were okay, but that attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Well, I didn't know about that. But honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Also, why is it so dark all of a sudden? That's a little strange if you ask me. Oh, now the velvet room's open. Welcome to the velvet room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> Wow, that's a lot. Ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power, which you have nurtured through your journey. 
An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Hey, I remembered something about myself. I was born a long, long time ago. I was the unconscious wish shared by people's minds to protect the world of man, walk the path of man, fulfill the wish of the world. That was my role, but people changed. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. The desires of man had no bounds, and one day, my other half became its own existence. Much larger than myself. I was left behind, with no power or memories. I became a tiny fragment, incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so. Kusumi no Okami. The rest, you already know. Without my powers, I became a tool, manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? The cause of it all. The one who created the Midnight Channel and gave you the power to enter the TV. The real Puppet Master, who tried to fill both worlds with fog, using me and the Sagiri. If you don't defeat her, the world will never be truly clear of that fog. Go. Follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous. It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began. Hmm, I see. True power, you say? Well, that seems like a good time to save the game, actually. <laughs> No, I'm serious, so it's been a pretty long episode, and I know I'm kind of cucking you here, but we shall continue with what I imagine to be finally the last dungeon, which was pretty tricky to find, and I definitely didn't Google it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.